Madden 2004. I thought it would be extremely interesting to go back and look at the top 10 rated rookies from Madden 2004 and see how the heck their careers actually panned out and see where they are now. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video and do find it interesting, let me know by smashing this like button. And if you want me to, I can go back to older Maddens or even more recent Maddens and do the same exact thing, not beating around the bush. If you do have a bush, make sure to fix that and go to manscaped.com. You just go to RBT at discount, get you the lawnmower. We'll fix you real quick. But number 10, the 10th highest rated rookie in Madden 2004 is a running back you may be familiar with, especially Chiefs fans. And that's none other than Larry Johnson, 77 overall, was 23 years of age, coming in as a rookie with 86 speed, 90 excel, had 82 carrying, 71 jumping, and 83 break tackle. Not bad whatsoever for a rookie. Was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs in the 2003 draft with the 27th overall pick out of Penn State University. Larry Johnson, as most of you probably know, had a pretty good career with the Kansas City Chiefs. Made it to two Pro Bowls in 2005 and 2006. Ended up with over 6,000 career rushing yards, 4.4 yards per carry, 55 rushing touchdowns, and also ended up with over 1,000 receiving yards and six receiving touchdowns out of the backfield for the Chiefs. He played for the Kansas City Chiefs from 2003 to 2009, played here at the Bengals, here at the Redskins, the year with the Dolphins and ultimately retired after the 2011 season. You guys might remember Larry Johnson as a workhorse because this individual does hold the NFL record for most rushing attempts in a single season in the 2006 year, ran the ball 416 times, which is mental. He also holds the Kansas City Chiefs franchise record for most career rushing attempts with 1,375 and most rushing yards in a single season with 1,789 yards in the 2006 year. Now since his retirement, he has gotten into a lot of legal trouble and got into a lot of legal trouble in general. Has been arrested at least six times since 2003, most recently in 2014 after he punched the man in the strip club. But he's been clean ever since 2014, had a pretty good NFL career. So Larry Johnson, safe to say, had himself a pretty good NFL career. Coming in at number nine, and this one is a good one. The Baltimore Ravens left outside linebacker Mr. Terrell Suggs. As a rookie, did come in as a 77 overall at the age of 21. 82 speed for linebackers, not bad. 75 strength, 85 acceleration. Once again, it's very good for a linebacker. He had 81 tackling. In that picture, he actually looks exactly the same today. But we won't have to give this guy much of an introduction as I know most of you already know his story. But Terrell Suggs actually still in the NFL. This is actually his first season playing for a team that's not the Baltimore Ravens. And what has been up to this point a 16 year NFL career. But he was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens with the 10th pick in the 2003 draft out of Arizona State. And up to this point as his career is not ended yet, it's been pretty successful, I must say. Won the Super Bowl with the Ravens in 2013. Was elected to seven Pro Bowls. His first team All-Pro in 2011. Won NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2011. Won the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year. So his 77 rating probably should have been a little bit higher coming in as a rookie. Up to this point in his career, has 132 sacks, seven picks, 35 forced fumbles, three touchdowns, and 13 fumble recoveries. He currently holds the most sacks in Ravens franchise history with 132 and most career force fumbles with 35. Once again, this is one of the few players in today's video that will be featured that is still in the NFL. Still has a little bit left in the tank. We'll have to see how he does in this upcoming season with the Arizona Cardinals. Coming in at number eight, we have the first player I believe that a lot of you might not know who exactly is, but a cornerback for the Seattle Seahawks. And that man is none other than Marcus Trufant coming in at a 78 overall actually is the older brother of Desmond Trufant, the current star young cornerback for the Atlanta Falcons. Marcus Trufant came in at a 78 overall with 91 speed and 93 acceleration, was drafted by the Seattle Seahawks with the 11th pick in the 2003 draft out of Washington State, and had a pretty good career with the Seahawks. It wasn't that long of a career, but it was a good one. Made one Pro Bowl in 2007, which easily was the best year of his career when he got seven interceptions. And his NFL career was 644 total tackles, two sacks, five forced fumbles, six fumble recoveries, 21 interceptions, and two defensive touchdowns. He played with the Seattle Seahawks from 2003 to 2012. After that, signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars, but was released before the season began. And after that, signed a one-day contract with the Seattle Seahawks to retire as a Seahawk. But Marcus Trufant coming in at number eight, 
not necessarily a bust, didn't do anything too crazy, but a pretty solid player for the Seattle Seahawks throughout his career. Coming in at number seven is our first quarterback on today's list, and that's none other than Mr. Byron Leftwich of the Jacksonville Jaguars at a 78 overall, coming in with only 47 speed. So wasn't the fastest in the world, obviously, but his throwing stats weren't bad. 94 throw power and 88 throw accuracy as a rookie. But this big guy, 6'6", 240 pounds, was drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars with the 7th overall pick in the 2003 draft out of Marshall University. Now, outside of his time with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Byron Leftwich didn't really do too much. He started a little bit early on in his career with the Jacksonville Jaguars, but after he left, primarily was a backup. He started every now and then, but primarily was a backup. He played with the Jaguars from 2003 to 2006, put the Falcons in 2007, was a backup with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2008 when they did win the Super Bowl championship. So he does have a Super Bowl ring. And after that season, played with the Buccaneers for one year and then went back to the Steelers from 2010 to 2012, which after that season, he ultimately retired. As mentioned, his NFL career was pretty up and down. Ended his NFL career with a 57.9% completion percentage, 10,532 yards, 58 touchdowns to 42 interceptions, and a 78.9 passer rating. Where is he now? He got into coaching in the 2017 season when he served as the Arizona Cardinals quarterbacks coach. And after that year, was promoted to offensive coordinator, which actually was last year, you know, when the Cardinals ended up with the number one overall pick. And he was fired after that year. And for this 2019 season, was signed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to be their offensive coordinator. And coming in at number six, this, my men, is a good one. The best player thus far, strong safety, number 41, rookie. Now, who is this? This is Mr. Troy Palomalu, a 78 overall. Now, why is he strong safety number 41 and not Troy Palomalu? I have no idea. But aside from that, you guys know good and well who this guy is. This guy's a future Hall of Famer. As soon as he's eligible next year, he's going to immediately be elected. But he came in as a rookie at a 78 overall, rated the sixth highest rookie in Madden 2004. 91 speed for a strong safety, 88 agility, 87 acceleration is absolutely mental. Well, what do I even say about this guy? was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers with the 16th overall pick in the 2003 draft out of USC. It's been his entire career, which spanned from 2003 to 2004 with the Pittsburgh Steelers. One of the greatest players in Steelers history, a two-time Super Bowl champion, an eight-time Pro Bowler, a four-time first-team All-Pro, and a two-time second-team All-Pro. When the Defensive Player of the Year Award in 2010 was named the NFL 2000's All-Decade Team and also named the Pittsburgh Steelers all-time team ended his NFL career with 770 tackles, 12 sacks, 32 interceptions, 14 forced fumbles, and three touchdowns. He was elected to the College Football Hall of Fame for his time at USC. He did retire before the 2015 season. Rumors are that the Steelers actually forced him into retirement, and also rumors say that he did want to play that year, but if he didn't, they were going to release him. He did receive an offer from my Tennessee Titans, and I would have been so happy, dude, to see Troy Palomalo in a Titans uniform, even if it was just for one year but he ultimately decided just to retire, and since then, was actually named the head of player relations for the Alliance of American Football, but we all know how the AAF ended up. But simply enough, Troy Palomalu, one of the greatest players in NFL history. Now reaching the midway point for today's video, and the second quarterback on today's list, that's gonna be none other than Carson Palmer, coming in at a 79 overall, had a blazing 58 speed as a rookie, was the highest rated quarterback, obviously, coming in with 91 throw power and 86 throw accuracy, but Carson Palmer, as mentioned, a 79 overall in the 5th rated top rookie in Madden 2004, was drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals first overall in the 2003 draft out of USC. Carson Palmer, obviously a player that many of you are familiar with, played with the Cincinnati Bengals from 2003 to 2010 as an Oakland Raider from 2011 to 2012 and ended his career with the Arizona Cardinals from the 2013 to 2017 season. He is a three-time Pro Bowler, twice with the Bengals and once with the Cardinals. When the Pro Bowl MVP in 2006 was the NFL passing touchdowns leader in 2005, also was a Heisman Trophy winner at USC. Hence why this guy was drafted number one overall. Ended his NFL career with a 62.5 completion percentage, 294 touchdowns to 187 interceptions, 
46,247 total passing yards and a passer rating of 87.9. It would take me forever to name off all the records that this guy did shatter throughout his career. I mean, basically, he pretty much holds every single notable quarterback record for the Cincinnati Bengals franchise and holds also a ton of records in the Arizona Cardinals franchise. Most passing yards in a single season with 4,600 yards and most passing touchdowns in a single season with 35 and ended his NFL career 12th all-time in both passing yards and passing touchdowns. Not really heard much about this guy since his retirement. He is going to be up for the Hall of Fame discussion very soon. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, do you think Carson Palmer belongs in the NFL Hall of Fame? Coming in at number four as the fourth highest rated rookie in Madden 2004, and that is going to be Mr. Defensive Tackle Dwayne Robertson coming in as our first 80 overall player in today's video as exactly an 80 overall, 21 years old, 65 speed, 86 strength as a rookie, 85 acceleration as a defensive tackle, which is extremely quick. Now this guy is probably the first player on this list, crazy enough with him being so high on the list, to be labeled as a bust. His NFL career only lasted from 2003 to 2008 after being drafted fourth overall by the New York Jets in the 2003 draft out of the University of Kentucky. He ended his NFL career with 278 tackles and 16 sacks. His NFL career only lasted five years. So when you're the number four overall draft pick and you only played in the league for five years, more than likely you didn't accomplish what was expected of you, especially with how much the Jets traded up to get this guy. The Jets traded Robertson to the Denver Broncos for a late pick in the 2009 draft. They did sign him to a five year contract around 24 million dollars but after the first season was released and never played another NFL game since then haven't even heard about this guy so Dwayne Robinson pretty much ended up being a huge bust and the first real huge bust in today's video and the third top rated rookie in Madden 2004 is a cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys that's none other than Terrence Newman at an 82 overall. The rookie coming in at 24 years old, so I think he is the oldest rookie that was listed in the top 10 rated rookies in Madden 2004. But coming in with 97 speed, which is blazing as a rookie, 95 agility, and 96 excel. The Dallas Cowboys drafted him fifth overall in the 2003 draft out of Kansas State. Played with the Dallas Cowboys from 2003 to 2011. Then with the Cincinnati Bengals from 2012 to 2014. Then with the Minnesota Vikings from 2015 to 2017. He was elected to two Pro Bowls in his career, both as a member of the Dallas Cowboys. He ended his NFL career after the 2017 season with a total of 876 tackles, 184 pass deflections, 42 interceptions, 8 forced fumbles, 7 fumble recoveries, and 4 defensive touchdowns. The only real record Terrence Newman has is being one of the only two cornerbacks to have two interceptions in a single game at the age of 37, so this guy played forever. Now obviously Terrence Newman had an incredible career, but don't necessarily think he's a Hall of Famer. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. But he did retire before the 2018 season, and ever since then has been a member of the Minnesota Vikings coaching staff, where he still today is the defensive backs coach. Now coming in at number two is a player that's gonna need no introduction, and this is going to be a wide receiver that goes by the name Andre Johnson. Also coming in at an 82 overall, the big 6'2", 230 pound wide receiver came in with those measurables with 95 speed, 88 agility, 95 acceleration, and 82 catching. Andre Johnson, easily a future Hall of Famer. The Houston Texans drafted him third overall in the 2003 NFL Draft out of Miami. He played with the Houston Texans from 2003 to 2014, with the Colts in the 2015 season, and the Tennessee Titans in the 2016 season. So he spent his whole entire 13-year NFL career as a member of teams in the AFC South. He was elected to seven Pro Bowls, all with the Houston Texans. He was named to two first-team All-Pros and two second-team All-Pros, was two times the NFL reception leader and two times the NFL receiving yards leader, ended his NFL career with 1,062 receptions, 14,185 receiving yards, and 70 receiving touchdowns. He also holds pretty much every single record that a wide receiver could possibly hold for the Houston Texans franchise. He signed a two-year contract with the Titans in 2016, but only played one season, and after that season signed a one-day contract with the Texans so he could retire as a Texan. Max, who just recently was hired back with the Houston Texans as a special 
advisor. So once again, a guy who had a tremendous career and also another future Hall of Famer. Oh boy, to top this off, as the highest rated rookie in Madden 2004, as a wide receiver for the Detroit Lions, and I'm sure you guys can guess exactly who this is, it's none other than Charles Rogers. Yep, you guessed it. Charles freaking Rogers. You know who this guy is? I don't blame you. The highest rated rookie in Madden 2004 as an 84 overall. So two overall higher than any other rookie in Madden 2004. Actually five overall higher than the number one draft pick Carson Palmer. But Charles Rogers came in as an 84 overall with 93 speed, 89 agility, 92 excel, and 86 catchings. But what did this guy do in his career? was the second overall draft pick in the 2003 draft, drafted by the Detroit Lions out of Michigan State, and his career lasted an entire two years. He only played in 15 games, only started nine, 36 receptions, 440 receiving yards, and only four touchdowns. Now, I will say his early career was hampered by injuries. He broke his clavicle in the 2003 season, and on the third play of the next season, he broke another clavicle, knocking him out for the rest of the season. And during the next season, when he was finally back, he was suspended for four games for his third violation of the NFL substance abuse policy, which shouldn't have been a real shock because later it was reported that Rodgers failed a drug test every year while I was at Michigan State. When he finally came back, he only played nine games with three starts. He was actually declared inactive for four of the games. He only caught 14 passes for 197 yards and one touchdown. And after that season, he was released by the Lions. And after he was released, he did try out for the Dolphins, Patriots, Buccaneers, but every single one of them did not decide to sign him as his 40 yard dash was around 4-8. And after he did retire, he was arrested immediately after he was charged with assault and battery of his girlfriend. And since then, has been arrested four more times. And as of just two years ago, what does the former number one rated rookie in Madden 2004 do? He works at an auto repair shop. So with that, that'll do it. For the Madden 2004 top 10 rookies, where are they now? Hopefully you guys did enjoy and found this video interesting. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comment section below if you do want to see me do this for other Madden games. I do personally find it interesting, so I wouldn't mind doing it. But with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.